James and Lee, as you can see, and we're in James's garden. Um, and we're this is our bubble, by the way, just just so you know. Um, this is the first of three or possibly four videos we're going to do just just for some little bits of practice between now and Wednesday. You can see the lock down here in its full majesty, by the way. So the first thing I'm going to show is the little. Do you remember the knife disarm we did last week? This is in slow mo because it was a bit hard to see last week. So. So there's the there's nasty person with a knife. So what we're going to aim to do is that we're going to do a clap, basically like that. The left hand comes across on the back of the palm. That hand comes across on the wrist and has the effect of doing that. Does that make sense? So if we do it slightly faster, the knife comes out of the hand. See? What could be easier? If we do it the other way around. <coughs> so again, I'm going to aim to clap there and stop it there. So it basically does that okay that's the first video thanks for that second video coming up shortly hi we're back this is the second video this is ikio or i like to call it osteos we just call it different things this is one that i know that um paul and sue and jessica will know maybe not um alex and mark and family but this this is one from a grip so again, if we do it nice and slow what happens is the grip comes in here the ikio bit is what you do with the hand hand comes up Twisting, twisting, twisting. See, nice twist on the wrist. As you do that, the left arm goes, the left hand, sorry, goes underneath the elbow, pushes over the top of the head, over the top of the head, step through deep, 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 and you end up with a lock. Okay? So if we do that slightly faster, <clears throat> and the important thing there is it's the timing. If you wait till he grips hard, I can't do anything because he's too strong. If I get the timing right, as it comes in, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. We do it the other side. It works. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't need you don't need huge amounts of space. That was the second video. Thank you for that. Here's video number three, and this one is Nikio, which starts off in the same. We'll do it nice and slow. Starts off with a grip coming in this way. And what I'm going to do here is grip with that hand. So it's there, grip, bring this over the top, bring this over the top. Notice the bend in the wrist. And then I want hand blade down like that. Or I can do the same thing, but instead of being there, now I'm doing like a motorbike throttle control. Does that make sense? We'll do it the other way around. <coughs> So the first one, sorry, grip, twist, hand blade down your centre line, and off is, or exactly the same again, grip, motorbike throttle control, twisting towards your own centre line. Thank you, Lee. Okay, that's the third one. Right, it's Anton Deck again, and this is one that we, <laughs> this is one that we forgot to say we we're going to do now because it was one that was people were kind of struggling with a bit last week because I think camera angles being what they were, but this is kind of Nikio from the street. This is the kind of lapel grab, if you remember. So Thug has got hold here. What I do with the the right hand, bring it right over the top, right over the top. We'll do it from the other side in a moment. Thumb on the back, and start to turn. You've got to get a good turn on that arm going, with the arm bent. And then, down they go. We'll, we'll, if you keep filming, we'll do it from the other side. So, the pearl grab there, hand comes over the top, thumb on the back, because you want to get a nice twist. Twist, 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 twist. And you can feel it already, you see, and all you're doing there is with a little finger into the crook of the... Okay, so try that one at home as well. Not on Jessica. Right, next video coming up shortly. Hi everybody, as you'll notice, Lee and I are actually sitting in Caesar. This is actually the first of a few of the kneeling techniques that we're going to do over the next few weeks, hopefully once we get back to training again. As you can see, it starts off with Tori, which is me, and Uki, sitting facing each other in Caesar. Okay? About this kind of distance, about a foot apart for the, those with old money. Um, and this is, this is um, we were trying to work out which is the simplest. This is actually um, a Gaiaco Gamayate. From a, a uh, from a, a kneeling position, and the first thing you'll notice, we'll do the first bit, is that Uki, which is Lee, 
signals to Tori that he's going to attack because he comes up into Kiza. As soon as he does that, he's going to go back and save for a moment. As soon as he does that, that signals to me that an attack is coming in, and he's actually going to go for he's going to go for a Yokoman attack. So what happens is, as he comes in, I come up sideways and push. So we'll do the whole thing kind of properly this time. Sorry. So from Caesar. Okay, we'll do it. We'll, and we'll sort of we'll do it. Blah, blah, blah. Will All the right. cameraman move or no? The cameraman's going to move. Okay, it saves saves us two getting up again. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so starting position again, about that sort of distance apart. Um, Uki's going to signal in a moment that he's going to attack because he comes up into Kiza, which means Tori's got to start doing something. Hey! And you can make a noise if you like. You'll notice all I've done, that and sneeze stayed the same. This knee's just moved sideways as I've pushed. That's it. How, do, should we do it the other way around? Oh no, it's probably fine, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine, I'll sit. Okay, that's great. Thanks, guys. You've got plenty to do. We'll see how far you've got on Wednesday.